Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and today I have a 12 by 12 um, layout process video for you and this is using the current June 2020 uh, freckled fawn kit. So as I've explained before, um, I get the a kit with the 6x8 papers in uh, which goes into the um, pocket page traveller's notebook insert and there is a um, a second video coming up using this kit uh, using that traveller's notebook insert as well but today I am working with a 12 by 12 layout because the products are so versatile that you can um, you can actually use them on um, any of your crafting projects as I've as I've said before if you've seen any of my other videos um, so because I am on the design team these products are sent to me for free to create some inspiration to share with you all um, there is a um, there is a link down in the description box below, um, which will link you to the Freckle Form website um, that will uh, enable you to go and take a look for yourself if you are, are if you are let's try that again at all interested. So first off here, I'm going to do some work with the um, the washi um, strips from the kit. And I love that you get two sheets of the washi strips in each kit. And I pretty much go through a lot of it most of the time. Um, but I am going to use quite a bit on this layout. So um, I'm that black and white strip, I wanted that for, um, for, my, for my layout. I'm going to do um, almost two um, areas of washi strips. Um, and I knew that that one strip was not going to be long enough, so I just used my trimmer, trimmed it in half, and then used it as two, um, effectively two strips of washi, if that makes sense. Next up, I'm just going to line up um, in an odd fashion uh, these washi strips. So I've gone with the black and white, uh, I've gone with the colourful rainbow strip, the sun one, and also the watermelon um, this kit is very summer themed and I've got these photographs from summer last year with my nephews playing football um, in the garden and um, I think the colours from the grass um, really blended well with this kit and also uh, my nephew's wearing like an orange football shirt but because of the lighting in the photo um, it looks quite coral um, and there's some coral tones in this kit as well so it worked really well with the um the colors of the kit and the colors in the photo as well so i didn't quite cut those washi strips exactly in half but um, they're close enough to um to not worry about it that rainbow one of course is my favorite on um on all of these washi strips so i'm going to create two areas now the reason i'm doing this is I wanted to, uh, to to focus on the um, actual washi in the kit, um, so I thought about an idea as to what I could do with multiple strips of washi, um, where they still all get featured. Um, so there's still quite a big section of all of those washi strips um, showing on the layout. Also, um, I wanted to um, have two areas where. Um, I could anchor my photos um, because they, um, if I just put them, put them on the page like this, um, they will just end up looking like I've got two random photos on a bit of white cardstock. Um, so having them sit on top of those washi strips just anchors them um, to the washi strips and gives it a, a ledge effectively to sit on. So that's the reason I've used the washi um and you would do something similar you can do something similar with pattern paper as well um but i love taking um any sort of kit and just using that to um to a design that i've put together so i'm going to use the six by eight papers to um back my uh, back my photo so i'm just using this one um that has a grid pattern on and I'm going to use that as um, my mat behind my photo. I do like to mat my photos in white um, but since there was this white ledger paper um, I decided to use that and then I'm going to create myself some layers behind my photo. 
So I'm just going to line up my photo and I'm just going to cut around um, this pattern paper and I decide to add in another one as well. So this green again ties in with the, um, the grass, the green grass in the photo um, and also the green that you see in some of those washi strips as well. So here is the other paper. So this one I cut just a slight bit bigger um, and I do that twice. So I've got one for each photo. These photos are not the same size. Um, I cut them to two slightly different sizes because there was a lot of um, background um, in the photo that I didn't particularly um, need on the layout. So next up here, I'm using, this is the wood veneer from the kit. So um, I think I actually use everything from the kit on this layout. Um, so each kit does come with a um, wood veneer, like a single piece or sometimes um, several smaller pieces. Um, washi, labels, alphas, pattern paper and enamel stickers so it's quite comprehensive and you could see there that when I put that wood veneer down if I was going to use that I was losing the rest of the washi underneath it so I've just torn those washi strips in half and it's going to be covered up by this and the photo anyway so you don't know that those um, strips aren't full strips anymore and then with this wood veneer piece um, I want you to be able to read that it says hello sunshine um, and so I just backed it with a little bit of black uh, cardstock so here we are I'm just putting my layers together and um, I'm just doing these at an angle um, it just gives the layout all the photo areas just a little bit more interest than having um, exact layers behind if that makes sense I'm going to fast forward this bit because I have a bit of trouble with getting that red tape backing off so um, I just added some red tape on and I've stuck that wood veneer down. The reason I've used red tape on that is because it's wood veneer um, and so um, wet glue would also work really well or glossy accents would work well um, but my tape runner here if I was to use that then over time that wood veneer probably would just fall off. So next up here are the alphas. Now if you have watched my channel before you know that I do not like green. Um, and it's one of the many colours that I don't like, including yellow. I mean, I've really pushed myself to um, to, to not worry about the colours um, so much as in um, the, the green works really well with my photos. So um, I actually, I'm not offended by, um, the, by lime green. It's more like grassy or, or is it royal green? No, not royal green. Like the you know what I mean, like the, the darker green colours um, I find more offensive. Um, so I just tend not to use those colours. Um, but I quite like these limey green um, alphas. And um, I just use those to create my titles, almost like a title and a subtitle. So my title of Hello Sunshine and my subtitle of I Dream of Summers That Last Forever. So I'm just going through the chipboard pieces um, from the kit and um, I've just again I've just skipped that or I've just stuck them down so I've gone with that green one on the left um, that says uh, pretty much perfect and then the one that says summertime that coral color like I said it really matches in with um, the shirt that my nephew's wearing and then that green sort of banner one that says take note then I come in with some enamel dots and I place those into three areas um, where I feel that it needs it. Now, what I've realised afterwards, and sorry, the layout is slightly um, to the top of the page, um, is I do have quite a big white area up here. So I started too far down, but I'm just going to do something to fix that. So I'm just going to, um, or I have ripped um, a section of my paper um, of my white cardstock from the top. And then I'm going to um, stick this sun paper um, behind it so that will um, recreate the same 12 inch shape of paper and I'm just going to use some washi tape to stick that down um, I have found going through my albums that where I've done this technique before um, the tape has somewhat um, come off and I'm not too sure why so I just used a little bit of washi tape to help stick that um, down so it stays and then next up, I keep coming back in with these half circles and 
Um, I put it up the top there. I haven't pushed it down and actually stuck it properly yet, but um, I, that shape just doesn't work for me. It's got a flat, um, the, the chipboard piece is flat on the bottom. Um, it needs another home, which I will sort in a minute. And then adding that circle sticker in there it is a label, um, but I wanted to add in a few more circles here. If I'm going to go with the um, half circle pieces, I managed to rip the chipboard back in off. So I just pulled it up and added some wet glue and um, added it back on. And then just to mirror that circle from the top, um, I added the black circle label in to the bottom as well. And you'll see me here on the struggle bus with these labels and this chipboard piece. And I just can't, I can't make it work. It's because the chipboard piece is, has got that flat bottom. So instead I decide to bring them back in um, and create um, the, or have the two half circles at the top of the photos. And that fills in some extra white area as well. Um, and I'm much happier with that. So these labels here, I'm just going to use this as a space for my journaling and I'm just going to add in a couple of staples on there too just to make sure that they stay on. These labels are um, a slick type of um, label so um, you need some sort of slick writer or a sharpie pen in order to write on them to stop them from smudging. So that's that done. And then I think the last thing I'm going to do is just add in a few more enamel shapes. I want to bring in the yellow. So I'm going to add in um, some yellow into each cluster, um, including the top one. And then this is pretty much done. So if you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments in the um, comment section down below and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.